A three-year-old boy drowned after falling from a boat on Teleco Lake. It happened over the weekend. The Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency says two adults were anchoring the boat when one of them realized the three-year-old was missing. The agency says the child was not wearing a life jacket. The child was found unresponsive in five feet of water. The CDC says drowning is a leading cause of death of children. 10 News reporter Marissa Rios spoke with the Knoxville swim instructor about keeping your family safe while on the water. It only takes a second for an accident to happen, which could mean a serious injury or even death. Children should have their life jackets on at all times, in the boat, um, on the dock. Camilla Hefner is a Knoxville swim instructor. She says if your child is close to the water, they need a life jacket approved by the Coast Guard. Puddle jumpers do not take the place of life jackets. She says it's important to understand children can drown in any depth. Literally kids could drown in inches of water if they don't know what to do. Even if you think that your child's a good swimmer. You just don't know what could happen. Somebody could slip in and hit their head. The water could be too deep. They could be caught off guard. Hefner says she encourages what are known as water watchers. Which means one adult is in charge of watching the water at all times. Even if you know your child is wearing a life jacket, it's still important to keep your eye out. Kids are sneaky. They'll take it off, or, you know. So somebody should be watching the kids at all times. That goes for the pool or the lake. In Knoxville, Marissa Rios. This marks the 15th boating-related death in the state this year. Agents